Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to talk about an issue in the current uh, Dynamic 365 Business Central, no matter it's SaaS tenant or it's on-premise or it's a Docker container. So uh, you can see on my uh, customer card and then we have some uh, checkbox, checkboxes like these Boolean fields. And, but these Boolean fields Actually, they are all offset. It's kind of like these switches. We don't know where is the which field is for. They are all offset. Its original position on the page. So, uh, no matter you are using Edge or Chrome, uh, Vista version one or three, you are having this issue currently. I found this issue around last week on June the twenty third, last Thursday. So, um. And uh, I thought it's my computer, probably my computer has any Windows updates and uh, something with my browser uh, has been changed. But actually, it is the issue because there's a blog, um, Business Central blog uh, reported this issue. So we can see here. And according to this URL, and uh, I found the most um, helpful uh, fix for this issue because my it says Microsoft is working on that. It probably take uh, around two weeks to have it fixed. And uh, so because it's uh, it's not working on all the Business Central uh, tenants, no matter it says or if it's uh, on premise. So uh, it's having this issue because this. Business Central currently is a browser based, it's using the web client. So that's why when your web client got updated, then uh, web, I mean, the web browser got updated, you will have this issue. So um, the temper fix for this, so uh, I think which is more useful in this link is this temper, temporary fix for the session, but it's only a temporary, after you close session, it will not work anymore. But if you really, uh, do not like this funny looking uh, page and you want to temporarily fix in that session, you should be able to do it. So uh, if you are using um, uh, uh, Edge, so this is an app browser, you can find what version of your Edge from going to help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. This, this issue currently exists on this version, Edge version 103. Also the same thing, uh, if you're, you are using the a Chrome and uh, if you are using so that's let me copy this business central URL to my uh, to my uh, to my Google Chrome uh, browser then you will see the same issue happens here and uh, if I go to the customer any any page which has a uh, these blue fields the check boxes then they will offset it's not at the original position anymore so how can we fix this and uh, why it this happens so if you go to the this is a microsoft issue for sure they have to adjust their web page issue so here's a link how you can find a uh, version of your browser and what is the latest version of your browser and uh, when it got updated so by using this link uh, it suggests you to go to uh, this there's a page i have here go to whatismybrowser.com and from what whatismybrowser.com if you go to the latest version this URL then you can see uh, for every browser then one was the uh, what is the latest version one was the last update for that browser so because we are Microsoft Business Central mostly we open by Microsoft Edge so that let's check Edge you can see exactly for Windows 10 it was the release date was 2022 June the 23rd. So it's it's a date I found the issue. And uh, this is with the version 103. So I showed you my Edge version earlier. And um, that happens to the that happens to the Chrome um, also, but you could see the Chrome update was on June the 21st, which which is two days earlier, but because most of the time we use the Edge, so if I found the issue on June the 23rd. So how can I fix this? If you are using the browser of Edge like this, then you can inspect the page because this is a browser based. And then from here, uh, you see the elements here, it will bring up the developer tool. If you control F to search, they will have see the search bar at the bottom show up. Then you just search the checkbox because we are looking for the checkbox. Now just keep on looking through the this code 
and you're gonna find this section which says the uh, checkbox and then it tells you to toggle off all these uh, boolean control toggle switch when you find this boolean control toggle switch this section if you click on this diff which is the division which is this part and then on the right hand side you will see uh, this boolean control toggle switch container if you just uh, uncheck these three checkboxes then close this inspect then you see the page becomes normal but this will only fix your issue uh, while you are still using this session which means if i so i if, if i'm still in this session i can i can just click on uh, it again and i can see my bling field is also good right but if i close this session and then i reopen this session and you will see it will come back that issue will come back so this that's why it's only a temporary temper temporary fix before Microsoft uh fix the, this bug. So now you see I closed the I closed my browser and I reopen my business central, then this issue comes back. But if you keep on working on that browser session, then the issue will just temporarily go. So uh yeah, that also works for bra uh for the Chrome. So if you have Chrome, like, like me, then you are using Business Central. And then you can check the Chrome version from the help as well. Then you can see about Chrome, uh, Google Chrome. It's also 103. This version is having this issue, this build. So you can do the same thing in Chrome. You bring up the developer tool, and then you inspect the page. Then you can just uh, uncheck that three um, checkbox for the element of that uh, toggle switch. Then for the bling field, then you will be able to resolve it temporarily for that session. So because this is really um, annoying when you look at a page, it's just uh, you don't know which field is that we can see this is, but it's all offset on the page, right? So yeah, so I just want to uh, hope this information is helpful. And if you are experiencing the same issue right now, then you can apply this quick fix for your current environment just for that session. Okay, thank you so much for watching this YouTube video. I hope to see you guys again next time.